So can I start? Yeah, please start. Hi, uh, this is Ipshitib Midris. I am a PhD student in the construction management department at LSU. Today, I'm going to present my paper titled as the effectiveness of using the overlay tester setup to evaluate the performance of asphalt mixtures against reflective cracking. Uh, the outline of the presentation is shown in this slide. The presentation will begin with a brief introduction to the topic followed by the objectives and background of the study. Uh, the overall effectiveness of the overlay tester as a reliable device to study reflective cracking in the laboratory will be discussed. Then, some potential modifications to the current overlay tester setup will be proposed here. And lastly, the summary and the conclusions of the study will be discussed. <clears throat> reflective cracking is a common distress that occurs both in flexible and rigid pavements uh, constructed over, over stabilized bases like cement treated base, otherwise known as CTB, uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see in this figure. CTB is a mixture of soil, cement, water, compacted to a very high density. It is a popular base material typically used in pavements. It has an inherent tendency to generate shrinkage cracks on its surface. Traffic loading and seasonal temperature variation causes movements within these cracks, as you can see here, which propagate upward and cause reflective cracking in the surface. Although narrow reflective cracks are not harmful to the pavement structure, wide reflective cracks such as like reflective cracks having crack width greater than six millimeter might cause various structural and performance related problems during the service life of the pavement structure. Therefore, it is crucial to evaluate the resistance of asphalt mixtures against reflective cracking. Uh, various laboratory test setups have been developed by the researchers worldwide uh, that can simulate reflective cracking occurring in the field as you can see in this figure in this slide like BRRC test device wheel reflective cracking device or Hamburg wheel tracking test device or universal testing machine. But the most popular and the most commonly used device uh, that simulates the thermally induced reflective cracking is known as Texas Transportation Institute Overlay Tester as, as, as shown here. However, it is important to assess the effectiveness of the current overlay tester setup to justify its ability uh, to accurately uh, differentiate between the performances of various hot mix asphalt mixtures. The objectives of this study are evaluate the overlay tester with respect to various aspects found in the literature to reliably identify it as the most uh, effective equipment to study uh, thermally induced reflective cracking in the laboratory and proposing some potential modifications to the current overlay tester setup that can better simulate the reflective cracking occurring in the field. <clears throat> Background. The current overlay tester setup, as you can see uh, in this figure, uh, consists of two steel or aluminum base plates. One is fixed and the other one can move horizontally or vertically and a monolithic hot mix asphalt specimen is directly glued over it. The diameter of the overlay tester specimen, as you can see here, is six inches and the width is three inches and the height is one and a half inches. The testing is typically conducted at room temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius and at a loading rate of 10, cycle, 10 second per cycle. Uh, the failure criteria as per the test standard TEX248F is 93% reduction of the maximum load when the load is measured from the first cycle or 1000 loading cycles, whichever comes first. The parameter of interest from this test are like critical fracture energy, crack progression rate, and the number of cycles to failure. <clears throat> now I will discuss the overall effectiveness of the overlay tester as a reliable device to study reflective cracking in the laboratory. Zhu et al. suggested that various aspects of an equipment should be critically examined to identify it as a reliable cracking test setup. In this study, the effectiveness of the overlay tester as a reliable reflective cracking test device has been evaluated based on various aspects uh, as suggested by Zhu et al. And these aspects include sensitivity to mixture design parameters, lab, laboratory to field correlation, simplicity of the test uh, in terms of uh, specimen preparation, uh, testing time, data analysis, and interpretation, 
uh, equipment availability cost and availability of the test standard and uh, the test variability and repeatability the sensitivity of the overlay tester to asphalt mixture design parameters such as mixture type binder type binder content air void uh, wrap or rest content and aggregates has been thoroughly evaluated by the researchers uh, uh, Zhu and Scullia noted that overlay tester results are sensitive to the key components of the hot mix asphalt mixtures such as the asphalt binder grade, binder content, uh, air voids and aggregate properties. Zhu and Scullion further evaluated uh, the performance of six typically used asphalt mixtures in Texas against reflective cracking using the overlay tester and it was observed that the overlay tester results were sensitive to binder content the aggregate type aggregate absorption and high temperature performance rate of the binder similar conclusions were made in some other recent studies as shown in this slide uh, where ot was found to be uh, sensitive to the mixture type mixture stiffness air void percentages binder content and binder performance rate so overall based on literature it is understandable that overlay tester is highly uh, sensitive to the mixture design parameters this high sensitivity is because of overlay tester being a repeated loading test uh, and since repeated loading tests are typically more sensitive to test variables than that of monotonic tests lab to field correlation the overlay tester lab to field correlation has been studied by the researchers time to time the overlay tester showed an excellent correlation to field cracking for both composite pavements uh, and flexible pavements a good correlation of the overlay tester with reflective cracking has also been observed and has been validated in texas california uh, and new jersey overlay tester results also correlated well with university of texas at arlington accelerated pavement testing results and also with fwha accelerated loading facility facility so therefore uh, we can say that overlay tester has a strong lab to field correlation the preparation procedure of the overlay tester specimen as shown uh, in this figure or in this in these pictures is relatively simple as compared to other cracking uh, tests since only four cuts are made to prepare the final specimen from the super pave gyratory compactor compacted cylindrical specimen uh, um, uh, additionally moderate specimen preparation time along with an acceptable level of technician training is needed for the specimen preparation and gluing the sp specimen mounting is simple and as you can see in this figure except for an external lvdt no instrumentation is needed for testing the test is rapid and it typically takes 30 minutes to three hours to complete the data analysis is easy uh, with a built-in and data analysis software as you can see here uh, the interpretation interpretation of data is quick and simple uh, since ot uses only index type parameters such as number of cycles to failure critical fracture energy and crack progression rate uh, as uh, pass fail criteria so overall overlay tester is a simple and rapid test to measure the reflective cracking performance in the laboratory uh, overlay tester is a commercially available equipment the cost of purchasing overlay tester fixer is relatively lower uh, like for example it is it is like five thousand uh, dollar which is like quite cheap than other commercially available reflective cracking devices also overlay tester has a standard test procedure which is tex 248f to guide the researchers through, through specimen preparation testing data collection and analysis because of these reasons, overlay tester has been adopted or being considered to be adopted as a reliable reflective cracking test by different state agencies such as Texas, New Jersey, Montana, Nevada, Florida, uh, and Ohio. Uh, considerable efforts have been made by the researchers to understand the sources of high variability in results. And it was identified that one of the key problems contributing to the reported high variability uh, in the overlay test results was primarily related to non-adherence uh, to the overlay testing procedure or the standard test procedure 
Researchers further identified several sources that might cause variability in the overlay test results as listed uh, in this slide here. Um, also, uh, the researchers made, uh, the, made some recommendations to minimize the variability in number of cycles to failure, which are listed here. More details can be found in the submitted paper. Also, two new parameters were developed, uh, such, as, uh, such as critical fracture energy and crack progression rate. Uh, to substitute number of cycles to failure, uh, which can which can produce more repeatable results. All these items and corrections were included in the most recent version of the test standard. Therefore, a complete adherence to the Texas uh, to TEX 248F procedure can minimize variability in the overlay tested results to a great deal. Although the current overlay tester setup has been extensively used by the researchers uh, to measure the reflective uh, cracking resistance of asphalt mixtures, uh, it might not full, fully mimic the, uh, the reflective cracking uh, that, that occurs in the field. And as you can uh, see here, you can see here the current uh, test setup, and this is the laboratory view of the current test setup. As you can see here, a monolithic hot mix asphalt specimen is directly glued with a steel or an aluminum base plate, which is not a real base plate in the field. And also, uh, the, there is a spacing between the base plates and which represents the crack, but this is not a real crack that is found in the field. Uh, th uh, therefore, some potential modifications have been proposed here for a future experimental study to go more closer to the field and to, to simulate reflective cracking more appropriately um, here you can see the proposed modified overlay tester setup and here is the laboratory view of it during a trial testing. A one and a half inch uh, pre nosed cement treated base layer has been selected um, um, uh, to be added under a one and a half inch layer of hot mix asphalt overlay. Um, the, thick, the selected thickness of the CTB layer is one and a half inch uh, because, um, because we need to match the thickness of the, of the HMA layer. Additionally, the selected notch depth here, which is 0.6 inches, is similar to the other fracture tests such as semicircular bending test as per Illinois test procedure to initiate crack at a predetermined location of the uh, specimen. The CTB layer here, the CTB layer will be glued uh, with, the, with the HMA layer using prime coat in the middle and the composite specimen will be attached to the base plates using epoxy. So we are still in testing phase of the study and we will, we will, we will discuss and share our final results when the study is complete. If should you have less than one minute. So yes, the summary and conclusion that the like overlay tester can differentiate between the performances of asphalt mixtures having various ranges of resistance to reflective cracking. It has a very strong lab to field correlation. The data analysis is easy. The device is commercially available and the cost is significantly lower and a complete adherence to the standard test procedure can minimize the variability in the test result. And uh, that, that is why overall overlay tester is a most suitable equipment to study the performance of asphalt mixtures against reflective cracking. And finally, some potential modifications of the current overlay tester setup has been proposed in this study that has a potential to simulate reflective cracking more closely. So these are the references that I like that, that I used uh, when writing the paper. And that's all from me today. Thank you for your, uh, for your uh, attention and time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will be more than happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Ipshit, for the presentation. Um, any question to Ipshit? So if there is no question to uh, the last presentation, we can conclude this session uh, uh, now. And uh, the next session will be, uh, the next session will be at 3.30 p.m. Uh, mountain time. Um, uh, 4A is for Portland cement concrete materials and 4B is for asphalt concrete materials presentation. Uh, I need to remind you again, if you would like to um, 
claim your uh, professional development hours, you can go to the website of uh, the conference and complete the form and send it to us. And there is also uh, some links uh, in the program page of the conference showing the three minutes recorded presentations uh, for the student research showcase. Thank you very much for your, for, uh, your time and for joining us uh, in this session. And we'll uh, uh, see you in session four uh, in an hour or so. Thank you very much.